I just, I kind of want to like talk a little bit. I know I've been on for a little while, but can we talk a little bit about heart brain coherence for those people who don't know? This is one of the fastest ways to open your third eye. This is one of the fastest ways to make spiritual connection. This is also one of the fastest ways to make connection with your divine emissaries, those emissaries connected to the chakra or to the heart portal, those cosmic emissaries. It's through the activation of the heart. Let's talk about it because I want to teach you a powerful technique that you might not have heard about. And for those of you who have, just hold space for those who haven't and listen again because this is a powerful teaching. Science for the most part up until the 90s, early 90s, thought that the brain ran all of the systems, sent all the signals and did the communicating with the rest of the body. It didn't really acknowledge that the heart might have also been sending signals and had a language, an actual scientific language, and nor did it understand that the gut did as well. But we're not talking about the gut, we're talking about the heart. And it wasn't until early 90s when a scientist actually discovered there within the chamber of the heart what looked like brain cells, uh, sensory neurites, I think they are called. And when activated, these sensory neurites actually activate, come alive, start to move and reach out, expand to create a network of communication. The heart actually has its own scientific languaging system. And when the heart speaks, the heart's message is received by the brain. When the brain receives the heart's message, again, this is a scientific process, it does a few things. First of all, the brain floods the whole body with all sorts of chemicals and, and hormones that are exceedingly good for the body. We're talking about hormones that uh, strengthen the heart, that help with cognitive faculties, hormones that help with longevity, anti-aging hormones, all kinds of really, really beautiful chemicals, processes, and hormones. And I just call these good gifts. So when the brain receives the message from the heart, the first thing it does is it trips into this giving of good gifts and it floods the body with all this beautiful stuff. And the body receives these beautiful gifts for a full six hours, a full six hours. We're teeming with anti-aging, longevity, hormones, hormones that are, or chemicals, processes that are helping to strengthen our heart, our bones, our entire instrument, just because the heart started to talk and the brain received it. Another thing that happens when the heart starts to talk and the brain receives it, because the brain has to receive it. Sometimes the heart just talks for a little while, but the brain never gets the message. I'll address that in a second. When the brain receives it, another thing that it does is it trips into what's called gamma state, gamma state. We've all heard probably about alpha and delta and beta and these different brain wave states. Well, gamma state is the brain wave state of supreme connectedness. This is the state that athletes say they're in when they say, I was in the zone, I was in the zone, just focused, hyper-focused able to achieve at a really high level. Gamma state is also the brainwave state that opens us to our intuition. For people who have lived to super age, they have done so because they understood heart-brain coherence, which is just another way of saying heart-brain communication. So, so many good things come when we activate our heart. However, when we activate our heart, we have to stay in that state of activation for at least 180 seconds. That's three minutes. 180 seconds is all it takes for those sensory neurites to start expanding, fluttering, connecting, creating a communication network that branches out and ultimately reaches the brain. Now that's in the beginning. If you make a practice out of heart-brain coherence, you can start connecting much more quickly than 180 seconds. It may take you 60 seconds. It may take you 10 seconds the more you do it. But in the beginning, you want to allow for at least 180 seconds or three minutes. Now, how many of you out there can guess what activates the heart? Comments, please. I'd love to see in the comments. Love. Love. The heart chakra. Love. Absolutely. 
Love activates the heart. In specific, the feeling of love. Now, when I say to you, bring love into your heart, most times it causes people to think about something that they love. Well, I love my husband. I love my dog. But are they feeling that in their actual heart? Are they really in the emotion of that love? You have to actually feel it here, not here. And when you feel it here, that's when you start to activate. And, and so often this is when we are moved to tears. We can feel the emotion moving in our body, but the portal, the portal of the heart is what is actually opening. And it's these sensory neurites that are beginning to get activated and branch out. So the way to do heart brain coherence, the way to power up the languaging of your heart is to be in love in your heart. How can you do that? I do that a few different ways. Essentially, I think on these things that are lovely. I think on these things that are divine. I think on these things that are beautiful. I think on these things that are such a blessing to me. I think on things that I'm so grateful for. I think about my daughter. I think about my husband. I think about my dogs. I think about my childhood. I think about the child that I was and I love her, I think about those things. You can see it right now. You can see that I'm emotional about it. I'm in my heart, and I'm in the feeling of it. When you have something that will allow you to hook into the feeling of love, what you do is you utilize that to get the languaging system talking. You also want to place a hand on your heart because where the touch goes, your consciousness flows. The touch is telling the consciousness where to go. And with your hand on your heart and with your eyes closed, you begin to think about that thing that you love, that you're so grateful for. Sitting here with you now, I'm thinking about myself as a child. I'm remembering how lonely I was and how terrified I was but not saying in the energy of that. Instead, I'm sending my now self to my younger self and I'm loving her and I'm giving her all of the assurance that she needed then. And I'm picturing her there and I'm sending her all the joy, all the security, all the love. And I can really feel that in my heart. The next thing that you do is you just stay there for 180 seconds. You got three minutes? Do you got three minutes today? Stay there thinking about whatever it is that's making you feel that love. It doesn't matter what it is as long as it's love. After three minutes, your brain receives it. And then all the good gifts flood into the body. The doorway of perception is opened and remains open. You, trick, you trip into gamma. You become hyper aware, hyper connected, and can be hyper focused. Do you know why we have people who have lived to 243 years of age? It's because they did that three times a day. Not necessarily this particular exercise that gets them into heart brain coherence, but they lived their life from their heart. They were always coming from a place of love. I don't remember the name of the Chinese man who lived to 243 years of age, but when researchers finally reached him, I want to say it was in the 40s, they asked him, why do you think you've lived this long? And he said, I dwell in the quiet of my heart. I love my family. I love what I do. He taught martial arts and he had a huge family. He's talked about the things that he loved and how dwelling in the space of that was the key to his longevity. And he's not wrong because the longer he spent in his heart, the more that communication system was talking and the more the brain received it and the more the body flourished because of it. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? This is like, this is the key to miracles. This is the key to multi-level healing, restoration, understanding is getting into the heart. And just so that you know, the heart is the portal of the angels. The heart is the portal of the I am. When we get into our heart, 
And then we set our mind on communicating with the I am, our divinity. We set our intention to communicate with our angelic emissary. Should we want to do that? We get into our heart first and it opens the channel wide, opens the channel wide for us to send the communication and for us to receive it while in the space of the heart. That's what heart brain coherence is. And if I were you, as soon as my two feet hit the floor in the morning, <laughs> I'm thinking about my seven-year-old me and I'm loving her, man. And I'm just spending some time there. And when lunch rolls around and I'm drinking my green juice, I'm thinking about my husband and how much he does for me. And how grateful I am for that good man. And before I hit the pillow at night, I'm thinking about my daughter. I'm thinking about the baby she was. She was so cute and so loving and so innocent. And now the wonderful woman that she's become. And I'm in my love morning, noon, and night. There's a reason I look so good for 50 years old. Oh, God. Help me continue to create ad-free spiritual content by supporting me on Patreon. Depending on the tier selected, you can receive one free lesson a month or access to a live Zoom meetup where members receive intuitive readings, attunements, and more. Every dollar really does help. Now, on to the video.